Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to connect your Tinkerhost website to Cloudflare. Inside your Tinkerhost dashboard, copy the domain name that you wish to add to Cloudflare. You can write this down on a piece of paper or place it in your clipboard. In a new tab, open Cloudflare's website and select Add a Site. Enter your domain name. Note that only custom domain names can be added to Cloudflare. You can't use free subdomains. Once you enter your domain name, select the free plan and then continue. Clouds will search for existing DNS records, but it will normally not get them all correct. You're going to want to create two records, one with the app symbol and one www. Both of them need to use the IP address found in the client area. As shown, Cloudflare only detected one record correctly, and I'm adding the second one. Once the two records are there, please verify that it matches on my screen with only the IP addresses different. On the next screen, you'll have to change your name servers of your domain to Cloudflare's name servers. Make sure the only name servers on your domain are the ones provided by Cloudflare. Remove the Tinkerhost name servers. Once you add the name servers, you may want to go back to the name server page with your domain provider to make sure that the name server is actually changed. Back on the Cloudflare page, select Verify Name Servers and then go through the Quick Start Guide. You will want to make sure that both SSL settings are turned on, all optimization settings are checked, Bronte is turned on. Back on the Cloudflare homepage, select Check Name Servers, and then wait for an email from Cloudflare telling you everything is ready. Once everything is ready, select the DNS tab from the left sidebar and verify that your screen looks like mine, with the only difference being IP address matches the one in your client area, not the IP address on my screen. Now, let's discuss the additional SSL security settings that Cloudflare provides. Select SSL TLS from the sidebar. If you select off, your website has no additional security. If you select flexible, there is some additional security. Full provides you even more security, and full strict gives you the best security. Additional information about these settings is in the description below. Turn on the SSL TLS recommender. Thanks for watching.